So good morning. As you know, persistence of FMD virus and localization is uh, regular features and regular work. But under natural conditions, it is uh, not happen regularly. And in endemic country, there is a very important work. And this is the first time in uh, our country we did it, where actually this FMD virus persists and localized. So this work has been uh, completed uh, for means uh, in aspects of uh, this localization of FMD virus, but others, how they have localized and what is the mechanism and which cells it is under process. So this work is under, uh, complete under the collaboration with uh, Foreign Animal Disease Research Center, ARS, PIADC, and Directorate of Foot and Mouth Disease. And uh, samples for this work is, has been collected in a, one of the state in India, that is a Kerala, where there is a slaughtering policy of the animals. This is a, one of the single states in India where officially you can slaughter the animals, either cattle or buffalo. So this is the, our, uh, this institute uh, is located in Himalayan region and where you can reach through Delhi to this uh, by train or road. This is our institute and just uh, early of the 2017 International Center for FMD is coming where BSL3 BSL plus facility is uh, going to have level and then uh, further work on FMD will do at uh, this institute under and we have uh, all across the country network units. They are supporting to do the, do the work on FMDs. So why this work we have taken? Because FMD, as you know, because uh, animal proteins is coming from meats and other things. So that is a uh, FMD is a very serious issues regarding worldwide trade. Because this FMD virus may transmit from one state to other states or one country to another, another country. Why? Because after subset of the FMD infections, it may persist for a longer time, as uh, reported by several authors. In cattle, it means maximum duration of persistence of FMD virus is 3.5 years, as mentioned in Soren Sun. So, just uh, we had seen, uh, means this study we had taken to determine the tissue specific localization of FMD virus in India. So for this, we had collected 11 types of tissues, which is the most possible sites for uh, FMD persistence in uh, animals. So we had collected from 20, uh, 22 cattle and 70 buffaloes. These are the tissue, tongue, ventral soft palace, dorsal soft palace. In dorsal soft palate, we had taken two parts, cranial as well as caudal dorsal soft palate. Same with uh, nasopharynx, dorsal nasopharynx, cranial as well as caudal, and palatine tonsils. And uh, one of the important three li lymph nodes we had take, I had taken means uh, that is a middle retropharyngeal lymph node, submandibular, and uh, popliteal lymph node. But uh, apart from tissue, I had also collected this uh, esophageal pharyngeal fluid to see the whether animals is having live virus or not, and uh, serum samples because serum sample this will give exact idea about the replication of virus in past, whether that animal was infected early with FMDV or not. That gives a early indication before going to this uh, pathological studies. For this uh, tissue samples, we had collected for virus isolation as well as genome detection and for pathological studies in OCT. And just uh, we had transferred from the Kerala because our institute is located from that uh, sampling site that is uh, approximately more than 2,500 kilometers. So if you will see the NSP data from uh, Buffalo, because the samples I had collected from cattle, that is not from uh, sort of that is from dead animals, so serum samples and esophageal pharyngeal fluids is not possible to collect from cattle, but uh, I had collected uh, serum sample and OP fluid from buffalo. But if you will see the NSP positivity, out of 70 animals, I, I got uh, four NSP positive buffalo, but 
13 animals were that is on borderline because this NSP positivity is very less because in cattle in buffalo severity of clinical signs and symptoms is very less. I, it could be due to less uh, low viral antigen in buffalo and that's why it is uh, NSP is uh, rep, means uh, NSP antibody is less produced in the buffalo that's uh, one of the reasons. Here if you will see out of 70 animal 18 animals we were found uh, this 14 animals uh, we found positive in uh, OP fluids and just correlate I had tried to correlate with uh, NSP antibody and uh, esophageal pharyngeal fluid. As the report says ki those animals which are positive for NSP, they are uh, might be positive for uh, viral RNA or virus in uh, esophageal pharyngeal fluid. But here if you will see exactly four animals were found positive in NSP and OP is correct but 10 animals were found uh, positive for uh, viral genome detection, but uh, that is that, 10 in, that was found negative in NSP. But if 10 animals uh, is uh, having a borderline uh, NSP OD values, so it could be that is a low, less number of uh, antibody or low level of antibody titer in that serum. But if you will see here. NSP uh, negative is had no it means uh, RNA genome negative animals in OP fluid is not having any positivity, but all they are negative. Similar with this tissues, for uh, NSP positive animals, FMD also positive. It is correct, 100%. But uh, this uh, in negative, but uh, FMDB RNA found positive in uh, tissue level at in 14 animals. So totals. Animals were found positive in tissue by 80 animals, and uh, here uh, total number of animals. But if you will see the correlation between tissues and probang, so 40 animals found positive for viral genomes in OP fluids, and all animals were found positive for RNA in tissue also. And if you will see, four animals were found positive in negative in OP fluid for viral genomes, but Due to, uh, through IHC, uh, it means immunomicroscopy field go, four animals were found in tissue. So total number of it is 18 and here it is. So this is a, this I have tried because uh, this is a very important uh, work. This is the anatomical position from where we, uh, we had collected the tissue, soft palate, this is a palatine uh, tonsil opening and these are the uh, dorsal soft palate and uh, dorsal soft palate part 1, part 2, nasopharynx part 1, part 2 and this is the uh, retropharyngeal lymph nodes. I pro means uh, superficially or grossly you can say there is no microscopic changes were observed during that animals. Here if you will see the number of positivity, highest percentage of positivity is uh, reported in uh, DSP2 by genome detection or uh, immunomicroscopy. Out of uh, that uh, 20, 18 animals were found positive in tissues, 8 animals were found positive uh, means uh, in DSP2 by both and followed by DSP1 that is a uh, genome detection as well as uh, microscopy and then dorsal nasopharynx uh, here. So if you will see the anatomical position, that is, uh, these are the regions where we can uh, see that. So percentage of positivity is the highest reported in DSP2, followed by DSP1 and DNP1. And all tissues uh, here in Pargenta study, that is uh, only from buffalo, because cattle, uh, they do not have any positive, uh, either in uh, means, uh, Four tissue I found positive for viral genome, but no tissue is reported positive in immunomicroscopy from cattle because uh, unpublished data till now. But uh, I have uh, been study in cattle in India persistence of FMD virus is reported seven months after uh, post acute infection, but in buffalo it is it has been reported at more than uh, 13 months. So it could be reason. Buffalo yeah, having not uh, FMDB percent uh, means uh, localization after three months because that animals may die after seven months, eight months of the infection. So it could be the reason. And this is the nasopharynx. I found one interesting thing here because we during HES stains, cattle they had do not having this type of corrugations. 
in cattle. But uh, we observe this type of coruncation observe in buffalo, domestic buffalo in India. And simultaneously, if you will see the thickness of this uh, epithelial, it has been also reported more in buffalo in respect to cattle. So this could be the reasons uh, buffalo having uh, more number of uh, or longer period of durations and more number of persistence of FMD virus. That is one of the reasons maybe. So it needs to be further uh, studied to clarify. And these are the localization of FMD virus. So this is a dorsal soft toilet. Because early report they show the virus is uh, persist uh, or exist uh, in uh, superficial layer of the... But uh, in uh, our cases, this virus is in the basal layer or sub-epithelial, you can say. So it could be the... might be due to longer duration of persistency because uh, no virus, live virus has been isolated. So if duration is more, virus may move from superficial layer to basal layer, but exact mechanism till now I do not understand. That is uh, in going on what cell is responsible and how they have uh, reached there. And simultaneously, because in the germinal center of uh, this uh, DSP and DNP, uh, uh, we could not find uh, any virus. So that is also, it may be due to longer duration, virus may clear from the, that does germinal center as previous, means earlier worker they had shown that virus persistence is also seen in the germinal center of the, these follicles. Same with this uh, dorsal nasopharynx, where this, these are the antigen. And uh, this is a ventral sort of Interestingly, out of 70 animals, I found uh, only one VSP positive in, uh, for viral genome detection and as well as immunomyoscope microscopy in uh, uh, fluorescence as well as immunohistochemistry. But uh, here, if you will see the a staining property means that indicate huge, means a large number of uh, viral antigen here. But the, that is an endemic city and we do not have any history of that animal when animal was infected. But it could be possible that animal was recently infected because that came positive for in uh, so phageal, phageal, pharyngeal fluid also, tissue also, and uh, here that indicates. But uh, if you will see the non specificity if you will say, it may be due to non specific but uh, this is isotype control, I put one, but I have taken isotype for this also, negative uh, multiplex tissue, PCR tissue also for this uh, specific tissues, because I have to confirm whether it is a non specific or real or specific uh, figure. So these are, this is the specific because isotype control is also clear, and PCR negative tissue for uh, this uh, tissue uh, soft palate is also negative. So this is a confirmed that is uh, due to FMDV integer. And for all this uh, staining process, I used uh, polyclonal FMDV antibody raised in uh, rabbit, polyclonal. So it could be the reason because polyclonal antibody, they having a lot of epitopes. So it might be due to, they have cast a large number of antibody and so it could be the reason. And these are the negative uh, DSP, TNP, and palatine tonsils. So, so I, in conclusions, if you will see, out of uh, uh, 1,200 tissue samples, only 1225 tissue were found positive by both either the genome detection or uh, immunomicroscopy. Out of 25, 21 tissue is reported from buffalo and four from uh, cattle for genome positive. And uh, as you see, there is no considerable changes uh, is absorbed uh, in any tissues, except this respiratory epithelium thickening and number of creeps found more in buffalo, DSP, ADNP, and this, than cattle. And uh, that, so for, in, uh, for according to title, where virus localized highest. So, According to this study, DSP is having the uh, highest prevalence of FMDV virus localization, followed by DSP-1 and DNP-2, then DNP-1 and palatine tonsil. As earlier report, they have said, DSP or DNP, these are the two important sites for FMD virus persistence. This is the acknowledgments, which are supported directly and indirectly. If I forget name of the other, I am sorry. Thank you for your kind attentions. 
Thank you very much for this interesting presentation. Any questions? Uh, I, I have one. I understand that this is difficult in a natural setting, but yes. do you have an idea how long it has been since these animals had been infected or exposed to FMD? No, because they, they, all samples we are collected from slaughterhouse, and they, in slaughterhouse they do not have any history of infection or so that is a random sampling because in that in Kerala this is a part where animal is com coming from throughout the country. So that's why I chosen that place, slaughterhouse in Kerala. So from each and every part of the India, animal is going there. So. Very nice job, Rajiv. Um, we've talked about this a lot, of course, but uh, as I'm sitting here looking at it, I'm thinking about something that we never talked about, I don't want to forget, but from the microscopy, would you try to make any, any presumption or hypothesis about whether these animals would be shedding that virus from those DSPs, thinking about what you see microscopically compared to what we've seen in cattle and other studies? and what we've seen in the Cape Buffalo studies. So I'm curious if you have a thought about that now, and regardless, we should talk about it later. We'll talk about later regarding saints. <laughs> I, I, I have one, one question. Maybe you mentioned it and I missed it, but so did you try to do any staining for CD4, CD8, or other immune cell markers? In yeah, your that's, that, that I told in early, that process is undergoing and under bay because the processing of samples and other things is very difficult for after carrying and this. So already we had optimized for uh, cell markers uh, for CD4, CD8, CD3, CD11C because why this... Uh, uh, FMD V antigen is localized in basal layer or sub layer. Earlier they have some reports, but uh, in endemic city and natural condition, this is happening. So, what is the reason? I do not know. But uh, in experimental condition, you had seen uh, almost uh, every work they are showing superficial layer or germinal centers they are localizing. But under natural condition, we do not know because not uh, the, there is not sufficient reports or early publication we have. So that is that need to be confirmed why it is going there. Or, Thank you very much. Yes, Sandra. Yeah. Thank you for your very nice talk. Yes. Congratulations. Uh, just, I was wondering about the, the virus recovery. And uh, um, is that possible to imagine to co-cultivate uh, some uh, fragment of DSP or washing of DSP with uh, SP cells, so monolayers, to to, to try to uh, amplify very little uh, viral load uh, because it's it's also a matter of uh, limit of detection and perhaps uh, because in our end the SP are so sensitive to to virus I don't know it's it's, probably uh, it's not okay but uh, actually problem is that uh, carrying of the samples because I, as mm. I earlier told uh, BSL-3 facility is coming soon mm. so in that case uh, sample pr um, collection and transportation will easier and mm. from my side sample processing so it may if you will collect DSP and you will go for as you are saying that will it means in earlier stage but once you will delay after collection of sample it is mm. not possible for me to do the work yeah. as I, I, I do not do that yeah. okay but we will we are planning once that will establish our lab after a few months. So. Yeah, but again, a very nice talk. Okay, thank you. Well, thank you very much. Uh, b before you guys leave, I have one announcement to make.